So, did this come as a surprise to you? Uh, had the Rams showed much interest over the pre-draft uh, build-up? Um, a little bit, man. A little surprised, but you know, like I said, I'm just happy. I'm happy, real happy, man, to just be a part of the Rams. Todd, you said you visited something like 20 teams, and they told you to keep it quiet. Were the Rams one of those teams that you swooped in with? No, nah, they wasn't. They wasn't. <laughs> they wasn't. <laughs> Todd, when do you think the earliest you can play football again? Um, you know, like right now, there's, there's no timetable. It's not putting a timetable or anything, but you know, um, everything's been on schedule and just looking back, looking forward to coming back. What percent do you think you are right now? Um, like I said, I, I really wouldn't say a percent. At the end of the day, I've never been through one of these injuries, so but like I said, it, I'm not a doctor or a therapist, but everything can go on schedule. Still got a lot of work to do, though. Do you think it's realistic that uh, you can be out there on opening day? Oh, yeah, I think, I think that's a um, realistic goal, but like I said, I'm, I'm not putting, putting any timetable. What are you doing now? What's your rehab like right now? Um, my rehab's been going good. Uh, I've just been, I've been, haven't been limited, limited to anything as far as, you know, weight room rocks and been running, you know, doing some patrol cutting and, you know, just, just getting after it. Hey, have you been able to run full speed yet or no? Yes, I have. I have a couple of times, but mo- most of it is, you know, it's more mo- a lot of my workouts are modified. Did you expect to go in the top 10? I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that, Todd? Why did you expect to go in the top ten? Um, because I know I know what I worked hard for, and I and I, you know I have confidence in myself. You know, just because of because of my injury, I didn't think I you know I didn't want to have my head down and, and just be expecting to go low. You know, I'm not that type of person. When you're right, what what back do you think you you play like and and who who did you grow up admiring? Um, you know, I, I don't try to be like anybody else. You know, I, I definitely look at a lot of the great running backs, especially in NFL. But and I grew up a, a, a CJ Spiller fan. How difficult was the suspension last year for you? Oh, it was real difficult, just not being able to play and you know having a good season, and you know them telling me you know I had to sit down. Todd, what do you know about the Rams and, and the Rams offense? Oh man, I know I know I like to run the ball, so it's a special special place, and you know, I'm just looking forward to going out there and, and working for them. Did you talk to the Rams at the combine? Like, did you have a sweet visit with them? Yeah, yeah, I did. And were they at the? Uh, I I I guess you were at your pro day at least to talk to teams. Did they talk to you then as well? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think I talked to anybody there at my pro day. Mm-hmm. So, w- when did you first think this was a possibility? Um, man, I didn't. Kind of. <laughs> <I didn't, laughs> kind of. But I'm happy. So, what was it like just getting that phone call, you know, them telling you that you're going to be a member of the St. Louis Rams? Oh, man, it was it was, it was crazy. It was awesome for sure just to, to get that phone call and be a part of the team. How, how would you describe yourself as a back? Describe yourself as a back. Um, you know, I feel like it's just, you know, of course, you know, it's kind of a, a work cut down here running. You know, don't try to do too much. But, you know, I still got a lot, a lot to learn and, you know, improve on my game. Todd, I read where when you were growing up, you didn't watch a lot of the NFL. You did watch a lot of Duke basketball in, in the state of North Carolina. Is that correct? Yeah, well, you know, I always I always watch football because that's what I play. But, you know, being being in North Carolina, I mean, you don't have no choice but to watch basketball all the time. And you were a pretty good player, right? Oh, yeah. You know, I, I thought I was Derrick Rose for a little bit. But that didn't work <laughs> out too well. <laughs> Tyra, what kind of relationship do you have with Alec Ogletree? Well, nice to have somebody here that you know. Uh, I got a good relationship with him, man. I remember my first time in camp, he was doing goal line. He hit me. Man, I felt that. I was like, from that day forward, I'm running low. So it'll be good to, it'll be good to get back there with him, man. Team up. That's one of the best players I ever played with. Have you heard from him already? Did he shoot you a text? I'm not sure I ever checked my phone. 
That's check my phone. Pretty sure he did. Yeah, you might have a few messages there, huh? Yeah, yeah. A- sure. Anybody else you know on the Rams or? Um, no, no, I don't. What's the most important thing that you've learned about yourself through the rehab process? Um, just be patient, you know, just because you can't do something one day don't mean it's not going to come the next day. You know, you just got to keep keep working at it and, you know, trying to be frustrated.